Hi everybody. Before we get started in the video, I want to let you know something I think is pretty important. As of right now, Twilio is running two to three weeks for uh, their processing time for phone numbers. That's new users and people that are now going through the registration process. Because of this major change, they are a little bit behind. So it's a very, very good idea to get started as quickly as possible. Even if you don't have your booth yet, you're getting it from a dealer, you're brand new to, uh, to Darkroom, get signed up with Twilio as quickly as possible. So when you get the booth, there's as much little downtime or unable to use that specific feature. Now, once again, Twilio is for sending SMS. If that's something you plan on doing, go ahead and watch this video. This will end as a to be continued. And as soon as I get my registration through, I'll go ahead and finish the process and let you know if I ran into any other issues that I can help you with and hopefully help avoid and make this as speedy a process as possible. So without any further ado, let's get started. Hi everybody, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, we are gonna learn how to set up a Twilio account. So Twilio is a third party paid service that allows you to send your images via SMS or text message. And this can be used with Darkroom Booth, Darkroom Core, Darkroom Booth for iPad, Darkroom Pro. But in this video, we're gonna primarily be covering the setup on the Twilio end, and then we'll add it to Booth. And the setup from Darkroom side is pretty much the same, uh, depending on which software you're using. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is head to twilio.com and create an account. It's a normal, enter your email address, your password, and then uh, two-step verification. I've already created an account. So once you have your account set up, you'll want to add funds to your account. This is a third-party paid service, so as you use their service, it'll subtract money from your account. Now. The phone number I believe is 115 per month, $1.15 per month. And then each text message I believe is two cents for each uh, text message that you send. So you'll click on billing and then click billing overview. And I've already added money, but if you need to add uh, funds, this is where you do it. Click add funds and it'll give you an option to add a credit card and you can even um, enable auto recharge so it automatically adds funds to your Twilio account as you use them uh, to make sure there is no lapse in funds so all your messages make it to their intended recipient. Okay, so the next thing that we'll want to do is purchase a phone number. So I'm going to click on Explore Products. And right down here I'm going to select Phone Numbers and then click Manage and buy a number. So I'm in the US and I'm going to add my area code. I'm in San Antonio, so it's 210. I'm going to click search and it'll give me a list of phone numbers to choose from that I can purchase. And then I would just select one that seems easy enough for me to remember. We'll go ahead and select this one right here. I'm going to click buy. And it's telling me it's going to charge me a dollar fifteen per month for that phone number, and I'm going to go ahead and agree and buy that phone number. Okay, and now when I click on active numbers that phone number should show up. So from the darkroom end, the next thing that I'll want to do is um, click back on my console. Now let's see, I'll click here. And it'll give me an option to click, go to console. Okay, and I'm gonna copy my account SID and switch to darkroom booth, select Twilio account, 
paste and then I'm going to copy the authorization token and paste that. Now, when I click the down arrow, it'll give me an option to refresh and my phone number should show up. And that should be all you need to do to set up the account, to log into the account. So the next thing we're gonna wanna do is test it. I'm gonna type in my cell phone number, click okay. Okay, now that that's tested, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to um, a sample event. I'm gonna select photo to phone, and I'm gonna start the booth. I have it set to only take a single photo, just for speed. And now I'm going to test sending it to my phone and see if I receive it. And there we go. There's an image that I just captured and is all set and sent. The next thing that we may run into is that you notice that those images stop sending or possibly even that initial image doesn't send. When you try to send that first message, it should cue or prompt Twilio to add a registration warning on your Twilio account, and that's for A2P, which is app to person messaging, and you just have to go through a verification process. So we're gonna go ahead and exit out darkroom. Go ahead and minimize that for right now. And then we're going to open up our web browser. And right here, we're gonna click on Explore Products again. And this time, we're, uh, we're gonna pin it so it's a little bit easier to find. Okay, there's our phone numbers. We're gonna click on Manage and then Active Numbers. And you should see two prompts right here. So first thing you'll wanna do is click on initiate A2P registration. And then register for A2P. And I am in the US and I am not using a tax ID, registering as a sole proprietor. And so let me know that there's gonna be a um, one-time brand registration fee and then uh, one-time campaign vetting fee and then a monthly campaign fee of two dollars so yes I would like to register for a sole proprietor package and then click continue now for you it might be a little bit different just answer uh, based on your the way your business is set up and then click confirm Okay, and I have entered my contact information. I'm gonna click save and continue. Okay, and now my address. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click uh, agree to the terms and then submit for a review. And it's been submitted. OK, 
Okay, we're gonna add our phone number. And this would be our cell phone number. And then check agree and register. And it's gonna ask for a verification. Apply yes. Okay. Next, we're going to go ahead and click continue. And then continue. For me, I'm going to select a sole proprietor. And then we're going to add a description. Okay, and that's the description. We're letting them know what it will be used for. Okay, so they're asking for a second sample message. Let's say, um, here is your image. For more info, please visit our And we're gonna go ahead and say that a message uh, will include embedded links. Um, and possibly phone numbers. And then they're asking, how do end users consent to receive messages? The user will request their image sent via text message. And if you're including a disclaimer or opt-in um, prompt on your screen template, feel free to add that there. So we're not using opt-in keywords, so we can go ahead and skip that part. Okay, and we're just uh, agreeing to the terms. Okay, let's scroll down and see where we are. Okay, and then click continue. Check the phone number that you'll be using and click register and confirm. Okay, what it's saying here is they're going to go ahead and review what you've submitted. Uh, for now, we're going to go ahead and click close. And at this point, we'll want to go ahead and uh, sit tight, wait for them to go through uh, the verification process, make sure everything's uh, on the up and up, and then you should be all set with Twilio. This will end as a to be continued. And as soon as I get my registration through, I'll go ahead and finish the process and let you know if I ran into any other issues that I can help you with and hopefully help avoid and make this as speedy a process as possible.
Thanks again for watching. Here are a couple of videos that YouTube thinks that you might enjoy. Be sure to like, subscribe, but more importantly, if there's something you want to learn a little bit more about, comment below this video and I'll do my best to add it as a future video. I'll see you in the next one.